for the next whole week, I'm gonna be only eating convenience store food. And to start off, I have this 24-hour KK Mart here. Let's have the classic chocolate garden. Whoa, it's the last one. It's my lucky day. Hello. Let's have touch and go. And there you have it. The first meal for this entire challenge is this gardenia bread for breakfast. I'm gonna be having a few counters here. Number one is the price I spend on each meal because I wanna compare how much I spent last week on food compared to this week where I'm only eating convenience store food. It's also raining and I could have taken the monorail but commitment, right? <laughs> I needed to get this bread for the video. Watch this cat go sneak up on my guy's food. See, this is what I mean. This fat cat goes up stealing, <laughs> stealing people's food, man. Oh my god. So funny. <laughs> the cat is dying. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I've experienced this before and it's not fun at all. If you open your gardenia bread any other way, I don't want you to be my friend anymore. Whoa! Guess who's here? Oh my gosh. Dude, get out of here, man. This is why you don't laugh at people. Whoa! 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 Guess who's here? Guess I'm gonna have to stand up and eat the rest of this segment. Jokes on you? Oh my gosh. Yo! I give you some bread. Dude, I threw your bread here. Okay. Imagine being able to eat some nice nasi kanda, but no. I'm on lunch break now and I am here at 7-Eleven, the next convenience store where I'm gonna have my lunch. Let's hope they have something substantial because I'm actually pretty hungry. Oh my, I forgot that 7-Eleven isn't like family mart. They don't have much substantial food in here. Let me get, let me get some Maggie. Okay, so the audio is so bad because the slushy machine is finally working. I'm looking at one of these to eat for lunch. Um, I have, I wanted to try the yellow cheese one, but I don't think they have it. Ah, this is it. They have it here, but this is a little bit small. So I'm having a look at this one. This is the all new Maggie Pedas Gila Cheesy Berapi. But I don't know if I should eat something really spicy now. I got it. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Oh my goodness, I think I might just be the dumbest guy in the world. I forgot this is not soup. So I put the powder in before I cook the noodles. I tried to get out as much of the powder I could from, from here. But I can't get all of it out. There's gonna be some crunchy bits in my Maggie. This is why you read the instructions of the labels, man. And here you have it. This is the Maggie Goreng. But api cheese pedas Maggie. I don't think it's in the right order. Taste this. It is spicy. It is spicy. I'm gonna get myself a Kit Kat chunky chocolate. I know it is three bucks, but it's better than getting a Slurpee. And Kit Kat is my favorite chocolate. Oh my gosh, what in the world? What the? Since when did 7-Eleven have these? Only theories? What? I guess I may be coming back here again. Let's go back to school. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Technically, if you think about it, wouldn't nasi kanda be convenient food? Because like it's just there, right? you just take it yourself. Okay, so I'm back on campus and just let me enjoy my Kit Kat, man. Oh, so big! Okay, so I am on my way back now from college and I'm gonna grab myself some dinner. Ba -ba -da. I couldn't wait for tomorrow, so I'm having it today. This kind of looks really good. Maybe I'll get one of these. Uh, uh, na ini uh, boleh. Oh, uh, okay. So okay, then other. Ada ramen. Ada ramen, yeah. Okay. Uh. 
This is how my food is looking. We have a cheese on top with some ramen noodles. Kind of looks like Maggie Mee, but we move. Right after I ordered this, I realized there was one ramen with sausage inside. I really should have ordered that because I am craving some meat. I would rate it a 4 out of 10. I personally don't really like it, but I would finish it because say no to food wastage. So I am done. I finished the noodles. I, I, I'm not going to drink the soup, but I'm done with the noodles. So that wraps it up for day one. Let's see what we have in store for us tomorrow. Okay, so it is day two now. I skipped breakfast, so I'm just going to go have lunch slash brunch now. Hi, sir. Tell you every time I pass by this Nasi Kanda place, I just feel like having it and it sucks that I can't now. I'm walking to a 99 speed mark now, uh, just cause it's a convenience store and I don't have anything much near me besides the same places I went to yesterday. See whether they have anything substantial enough to eat for my brunch. And yeah, if not, I'm just gonna go back to 7 Eleven. 99 speed, yo. 99 speed, man. Here and I'm back at this spot. Which one should I have? Got same good idea. Okay, so here I am. I have my onigiri here. It's from 7 Eleven, not from Family Mart because that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. Ooh, and it's gonna be with a special guest. So I'll see you guys then. Let me open this up. Oh, I already messed up. I'm gonna pull from here. Pull this. And it opens up here. Ah. Also, I got like the chicken tandoori because uh, I'm craving some meat, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so it looks like I've taken it out. Finally having rice and chicken after like so much of noodles. So this is how it looks inside. It's just tandoori with rice and seaweed at the sides. To be fair, after taking a few bites of it, I kind of like it. I think I would definitely prefer the cucumber unagi inside. I would probably prefer that, but it still does the job. So I'm quite satisfied. So I'm going to eat this now and probably go get an ice cream. I'm back at Speedman and I just caught myself the best ice cream in the world. Solero. Wait, wait, so overexposed. Solero. Let me know what's the best way to eat the Solero ice cream. Do you bite on it or do you suck on it? For me, I feel like the best way to do it is to suck on it. Just do that until the whole ice cream is gone. And it's dinner time. I mean, it's like 5.30 now. It's 5.05. Oh, <laughs> We are back at Family Mart. Oh, and trust me guys, today is going to be more interesting than yesterday. I'm going to be trying out a food combination that I found on Instagram. Hi Ka, is the oven working today? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, the oven works. So I want to get myself one of these things here, as well as the oven baked chicken corn dog thing. Jay, what are you having? I'm having... Okay, know. we'll get... one of these triangles. <laughs> Jay, Jay, Jay just said he's getting one of these triangles. They are called onigiri. Onigiri, yeah. Yeah, yeah onigiri. Okay, yeah, I, I watch anime too, okay? I got, got, can I have one, two, two double cheese corn sausage? Spicy? You want spicy? Uh, yeah. Okay, both spicy. Both spicy, yeah. So now that is done, let's get a rice box. Whoa! Wait, this actually looks good. Okay, something like this may be too heavy since I already ordered a whole corn dog. Buttermilk chicken katsu bento. Wait, this actually looks good though. Okay, so I've got the first meal that I'm getting today is the Gyodon. Uh, let's go warm it up first. I've got to type this number in the microwave. Oh, this is a really cool looking microwave. Like it doesn't have the spinning plate, you know? Yo, your finger's in the shot. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in, close the door. Click one, four, start. Hey. This smells nice. Let's go eat. Okay, so here it is. It's really well warmed up, I must say. It is sushi rice. Ooh. That's ours. 
Let's go collect it. Alright, we need okay. Thank you. Nice. Okay, so we have gotten our stuff. Got some chicken. We've got two corn dogs. Oh, have a look at this. And this is our meal for dinner. This is mine. This is Jay's. This is mine. This is me. Augustine. Augustine's. So yeah, let's eat. Thank you. And of course, when you go to Family Mart, you can't leave without the Family Mart ice cream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining me for, for dinner today. Let's go. Bye-bye.